Welcome to Music Class. I'm super happy that you're here. Today we're gonna get started with one of my favorite folk dances, and this dance is called Fjaskern. Fjaskern is from Sweden, and in Swedish, Fjaskern means hurry, scurry. So let's get started. We're gonna start by going forward and back for four beats. Here we go. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four. Now we're gonna go backwards for four and then forwards for four. Go backwards, two, three, four, and forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, and forward, two, three, four. Okay, let's put that all together. Ready, go. Forward, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four, and back, two. Remember, we keep going back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four. Tricky, huh? Let's do that all together again. Here we go. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, keep going. Back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four. Now here's where it gets fun. We're gonna put our hands on our hips. We're gonna hop and put one foot out like this, and the other one, and the other one, and the other one. Then we clap and turn till we're over here. Then hop and hop and hop and hop, clap over here. Hop and hop and hop and hop, clap over here. Hop and hop and hop and hop, clap over here. All right, let's start at the beginning. Forward and back, then back, then forward, then we do the hops. Here we go. Then we go back. Now the hops. Hop, ba dum ba dum ba dum over here again. Hop, ba dum ba dum ba dum. Clap over here. Hop, ba dum ba dum ba dum. Clap over here. Hop, ba dum ba dum ba dum. Clap over here. Forward, forward, go. Bum bum bum. Back and two and three and four. Forward two, three and four. Back and two and now we keep going. Back two, three and four. Forward two and three and four. Back and two. Three and four, forward, two and three, and hips. Bum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, clap. Bum, ba bum, 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 ba dum, ba bum, ba bum. Bum, ba da da, bum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Bum, ba da da, bum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Bum, ba da da. Okay, now we're gonna do the whole thing together with the music. So before we get started, grab a quick drink of water, and then we'll dance together. All right, I hope you got your drink of water. I'm gonna press play on my phone and we're gonna dance the Oscurn together, starting with forward and back. Here we go.
this job. You can have a seat. Alrighty, friends, it is time for us to practice some of our rhythms. Now, last week we made a ton of progress on our rhythms, so we need to keep moving forward with that. We need to practice what we've already learned and maybe do some new stuff along the way. So before we get started with reading, I'd like to echo a couple patterns to make sure we get them in our bodies. Me first, then you. Do day do, do day do. Do day do day do day do. Do day do, do day do day. Do day do day do do. Fabulous. All right, I've got my rhythm cards here. What I want to know is, is this a quarter note? or is it a pair of eighth notes? Okay, we usually talk about them in terms of do day and do, right? I'm asking you for their special musical name though this time. Well, what you can think about that though is if it's a pair of eighth notes, what is a pair? What's a pair of something? How many are there? Right, a pair means two. So if I have well, like a pair of pants. I guess that's kind of confusing because it's like one thing, but it has two legs. A pair is two, right? Or a pair of socks. How many socks do I have? I have two socks. So looking at my notes here, if I'm wondering which one is the pair of eighth notes, do you think it would be the one with one note head or the one with two? I'm guessing the one with two, right? I've got the pair of eighth notes right here. Everybody say pair of eighth notes. Yes. Then right here, we've got our quarter note. Everybody say quarter note. Mm -hmm. And an easy way to think about a quarter note is it's similar to a quarter like in money. And how many quarters do you need to make a dollar? We need four quarters to make a dollar. And whenever I show you a rhythm like this, we're gonna have four beats, right? This is the quarter note. Four of them fill up my whole card. We have four beats and four quarters make a dollar, okay? So we've got our quarter note and our pair of eighth notes. What is this? And this. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna have you read this for me. One and two and read it, go. Okay, if you said do, do, day, do, do, you're correct. If not, here's your second chance. Read it, ready, here you go. Fabulous. All right, I know some of you said last week, Miss Burke, these are upside down. <laughs> I know that's the trickiest trick in Miss Burke's book, right? They're not upside down because if you look at the numbers, we've got two on top, four on bottom, and they look normal. You can have your stems and your bar lines under the note heads too because it's still a pair of eighth notes. It's still a quarter note. They're grouped the same way and we can still read them this way. Read this card and ready, go. If you said do, day, do, do, day, do, you're correct. Try one more time and ready, go. Fabulous. Next, read it, ready, here you go. Did you say do, day, do, do, day, do, day? All right, let's do it one more time. Ready, go. Good reading. Next. This one is very common, and I hope you're going to get it right away. I think you will. Ready, read. Okay, it should be like this. Do, 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 day, do. Yes, one more time, and I'm ready, go. Very nice. Read this one and ready, go. Was it do, day, do, day, do, do? Yes, okay, do it one more time. Ready, go. Fabulous. Next, read it, ready, here you go. Hmm, did it sound like this? Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Hmm, one more time and a ready, go. Very nice. Ready, go. Mm, did you say do, do, day, do, day, do? Okay, one more time and ready, go. Very nice. 
This might be our last one. I'm not sure though. Ready, go. Did it say do day do do do? A lot of people want to add a do day right here. Do day do do day do because I do that pattern a lot, right? But this is just a do. Okay? You can't go on autopilot and just say rhythms that you think it might be. You have to actually read it and see what it is. This is a pair of eighth notes. Quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Do day, do, do day, do. Read this pattern. Ready, go. Yes. All right. Was that your last pattern? Yes, it was. Fabulous job. We're going to move on to my new rhythm game. Alrighty, friends. Now we're going to practice writing some patterns. Ooh. So right now you need to go grab either a piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. If you have one, I'm going to be using a whiteboard and a dry erase marker because I think that's easiest to draw lots of different patterns. Okay. So you have just a couple seconds to go grab some supplies. Ready, set, Welcome back. Now that you are ready to write some rhythms with me, we're gonna start by just practicing each individual note and how to draw it before we start with our game. So first we're going to draw a quarter note. Everybody say quarter note. Mm -hmm. And a quarter note is our do. Remember it's the one with the one note head. Here's how I draw my quarter note. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my note head. Okay, it's the little circle that goes in the bottom. Remember, whenever you draw a note head, it has to be filled in. Your note head for this, for a quarter note, cannot look like this because that is not a quarter note. That is incorrect. I'm going to erase that. We don't even need to see that, right? Okay, then I add my stem, which is the line that goes up and down. Okay, this is my note head. This is my stem. And now I have my, wait. Ooh, my handwriting is nice today. I've got my quarter note. There's my quarter note. Great. Now what I want you to do is I want you to draw four quarter notes on your piece of paper or on your whiteboard. Go. Okay, you should be done. If you're not, that's okay. We're going to move on. We're gonna practice drawing a pair of eighth notes. Here's what we're gonna do. I always start with my note heads. So this time, because it's a pair, which means I have how many? Two. I'm gonna draw two note heads pretty close together. Make sure I fill them in, just like before. Got my two note heads. Now I do my stems, which are the up and down, just like a flower. Do my two stems. Okay, now remember with a pair of eighth notes, you have to connect them together with a beam. Everybody say beam. Okay, so I've got my note heads, I've got my stems, and I've got my beam. That is my pair of eighth notes. Let's see here. Pair of eighth notes. We've got my pair of eighth notes, and it looks like that. There's two note heads. Okay, practice drawing your pair of eighth notes. You have just a few seconds to draw four pairs of eighth notes. So if I have four pairs, how many total note heads do I have? How many note heads are in each pair? So if I have two eighth notes in one pair, I'm gonna end up with eight note heads. 
eight note heads, right? This is one pair of eighth notes. So now I'm going to draw a second pair of eighth notes. Now I have two pairs of eighth notes. See what I'm saying? We're going to do four pairs. Go. Okay, when you are ready, you're going to clear your board or just move down on your paper. You don't need to have a whiteboard. And now we're going to start our game. My game is called Guess That Rhythm. Everybody say, Guess That Rhythm. Okay, my rhythm is always going to have four beats. Everybody say, Four beats. My rhythm is always going to have four beats but it's gonna be made up of different combinations of quarter notes and pairs of eighth notes. And I want you to guess what I have written on my board, okay? Let me give you an example. Here is number one. Let me write my rhythm here and you just wait a second. <laughs> okay, this rhythm has four beats. In this rhythm, I have two pairs of eighth notes and two quarter notes. What I want you to do is I want you to write on your piece of paper what you think my rhythm is. Remember, it doesn't have to be in the order I told you. So I have two pairs of eighth notes and two quarter notes. Put those in whatever order you want, equaling four beats, and then we'll see if you guess the same rhythm as me. You're writing this on your paper. Go. Okay. Time for me to reveal my rhythm and see if this is what you guessed on your paper or on your right board. Three, two, one. I wrote do, day, do, do, day, do. Is that the order that you guessed? Remember I said there are two pairs of eighth notes. One, two. Here's my first pair of eighth notes and my second pair of eighth notes. Then we've got two quarter notes. One, two. See, I didn't lie. They were just not in the order that I said. Let's try that again with a different rhythm. All right, I'm drawing my second rhythm here. Let's see, it's gonna be different than last time. Okay, this rhythm still has four beats, but it has three quarter notes and one pair of eighth notes. Let's see if you can guess the order that I'm writing my rhythm. Write down your rhythm that has three quarter notes and one pair of eighth notes. Okay, I'm gonna show you my rhythm. Let's see if you guessed it right. I wrote, do, 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 day, do. Is that what you wrote? Remember, I said I have three quarter notes. One, two, three, and I have one pair of eighth notes. One, just not in the order that I said. All right, let's do one more rhythm and see if you can guess my This rhythm has four beats, but it has three pairs of eighth notes and one quarter note. Write down what you think it is. Three pairs of eighth notes and one quarter note. Hmm. All right. Do you have your rhythm written with three pairs of eighth notes and one quarter note? Let's see if it's the same as mine. I have do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Is that what you had? Everybody read this rhythm, go. 
do day, do day, do day, do. Fabulous job. Thank you so much for playing my new game with me. Before we are done with music class, we're gonna do one more thing, but I just wanna tell you what your quick assignment is for music this week. Your job is to take a picture of the piece of paper that you have all those rhythms written on that you just used for that game. You're gonna take a picture of it with your Chromebook. So you're gonna to go to your camera app on your Chromebook and you're gonna hold up your piece of paper or your whiteboard so I can see that you wrote the rhythms. I don't care if they're right or wrong. I just wanna see that you are practicing writing quarter notes and pairs of eighth notes. You're gonna take a picture and then you're gonna submit that when you submit your Canvas assignment for this week's video. Cool beans? Okie dokie. Now, we're gonna do a quick refresher on a song we haven't done in a long time to say goodbye. So let's warm up our voices. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. Yo, ha, ha. Yee. Yee. Okay, echo me. Now it's time to go. Good job. Let's do that first line one more time. Me first. Now it's time to go. Next. We've been singing and dancing all the day. Good job. Let's go back to the beginning. Now it's time to go. We've been singing and dancing all the day until tomorrow we must say then it starts over now it's time to go We've been singing and dancing all the day Until tomorrow we must say Now it's time to go All right, let's do the whole thing all together. I'm gonna sing the whole thing. I want you to try and sing it with me. Okay, same time as me. We're not gonna echo anymore. I'm gonna sing through the whole thing and you're gonna try and sing it with me. Here we go. <clears throat> now it's time to go. We've been singing and dancing all the day until tomorrow we must say. Now it's time to go. We've been singing and dancing all the day until tomorrow we must say now it's time to go. We've been singing and dancing all the day until tomorrow we must say now it's time to go. Thank you so much for today. Don't forget to submit your assignment, the picture of your rhythms, and I hope you have a fabulous week. See you next time.